Here are the list of top 6 venomous snake in the Philippines. Number 6 Equatorial Spitting Cobra, also known as Black Spitting Cobra. This species of cobra is found in the equatorial Southeast Asian nations of Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, and in the Philippines. This is highly venomous species which should be treated with caution. Typically, this snake prefers to avoid confrontation and is not considered aggressive. However, large adults will stand erect, expand their hood, and hiss loudly if feeling threatened. If the perceived attack does not back off from his threat display, the snake will then attempt to spray venom in the eyes of its tormentor. Number 5 Waggler's Pit Viper It is sometimes referred to as the Temple Pit Viper because of its abundance around the Temple of the Azure Cloud in Malaysia. This is a venomous pit viper species native to Southeast Asia, also found in Southern Philippines. The Philippine pit viper is nocturnal and arboreal. They appear quite sluggish as they remain motionless for long periods of time. Waggler's pit viper has strong venom that usually does not result in death to humans. Victims experience a strong burning sensation upon envenomation and swelling, necrosis of tissue. Waggler's pit viper is generally found on low vegetation, but a careful search may also locate the species at mid canopy level many meters above the ground. Number 4 Philippine pit viper is a venomous pit viper species endemic to the Philippines. Three subspecies are currently recognized, including the nominate subspecies. Found on the Philippine islands of Agutayan, Batan, Kamigin, Katanduanes, Dinagat, Hulu, Leyte, Luzon, Mindanao, Mindoro, Negros, and Polillo. Number 3 The Philippine Cobra, also called Northern Philippine Cobra, is a stocky, highly venomous species of spitting cobra native to the northern regions of the Philippines. The Philippine Cobra is called Ulupong in Tagalog. The Philippine cobra's habitat include low-lying plains and forested regions, along with open fields, grasslands, dense jungle, agricultural fields, and human settlements. This species of cobra is particularly fond of water, so it can be found very close to ponds, rivers, or large paddles of waters. Philippine cobra is considered to possess one of the most toxic venom among all of the cobra species. These snakes are capable of accurately spitting their venom at a target up to 3 meters away. The Philippine cobra occurs mostly in the northern regions of the Philippines. They can be found on the islands of Luzon, Mindoro, Catanduanes, and Masbate. Number 2 The Samar cobra, also called Visayan cobra, is a highly venomous species of spitting cobra native to the Visayas and Mindanao Island groups of the Philippines. The summer cobra's venom is a potential deadly neurotoxin. Envenomations can result in respiratory distress and paralysis, as well as considerable tissue necrosis around the bite site. They are noted for their nervous behavior and are quick to strike as well as to spray venom, which they generally aim towards the face and eyes. If venom gets in the eyes, it causes extreme pain and mechanical damage to the eyeball. If not properly flushed out, it can result in permanent blindness due to its tissue destroying properties. And for number one, King Cobra. It is the world's largest venomous snake. It preys cheaply on other snakes and occasionally on some other vertebrates such as lizards and rodents. It is a highly venomous and dangerous snake when agitated or provoked that has a fearsome reputation in its range. 
although it is typically shy and avoids confrontation with humans when possible. The king cobra's venom consists of toxins affect the victim's central nervous system, resulting in severe pain, blurred vision, vertigo, drowsiness, and eventually paralysis. If the envenomation is serious, it progresses to cardiovascular collapse and the victim falls into a coma. That soon follows due to respiratory failure. The affected person can die within 30 minutes of envenomation. Not all king cobra's bites result in envenomation, but they are often considered of medical importance.